for that. I thought I'm already invincible and safe from COVID-19 because we already have vaccines coming. But wait, are these vaccines really safe? Are these effective? How are these vaccines being developed? According to the World Health Organization, there are several steps in vaccine development taken in order to ensure a new vaccine is safe and effective. The preclinical studies. According to the history of vaccine.org, preclinical studies are done to assess the safety of the candidate vaccine and its immunogenicity or the ability to provoke an immune response. This is usually done in animal subjects like mice or monkey to give researchers idea about the cellular responses they might expect in humans. The phase one or the human pharmacology stage. This stage is usually done to a small group of 20 to 100 healthy volunteers to test the vaccine's pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Pharmacokinetics determines what the body does to the vaccine. It monitors the movement of the vaccine into, through, and out of the body as of its absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Pharmacodynamics determines what the vaccine does to the body. It determines the biochemical, physiological, and molecular effects of the vaccine on the body. The phase two or the exploratory stage. A larger group of several hundred individuals participates in phase two testing. The goals of phase two testing are to study the candidate vaccine's safety, proposed doses, immunogenicity, schedule of immunization, and method of delivery. The phase three or the confirmatory stage. Successful phase two candidate vaccines move onto larger trials involving thousands to tens of thousands of people. In this stage, vaccine's efficacy is tested. These phase three tests are being randomized and double blind. It involves experimental vaccines being tested against a placebo. The placebo may be a saline solution, a vaccine for another disease, or some other substance. The phase four or the post-marketing surveillance stage are optional studies that drug companies may conduct after a vaccine is released. The Human Challenge Studies The Human Challenge Trials involve exposing healthy volunteers to the pathogen to learn more about the disease it causes and to test vaccines quickly. Recent data from the World Health Organization show that there are 56 COVID-19 candidate vaccines in clinical evaluation, of which 13 are in Phase three trials. Top candidate vaccines are now being administered to larger populations. We just have to hope and pray that these vaccines may give us the herd immunity that we aim for.